Greetings, this is Brandon with Primarily Pens. Today I have two examples of David Osterson's Nikola Tesla. David released this collection at the very end of 2021. We'll start with a quick walkthrough of some of the features of the pen. Um, the first we'll look at is the clip. This is the Wardenclyffe facility, also known as the Tesla Tower. Nikola Tesla had this constructed uh, on Long Island, uh, I think we primarily to do uh, wireless transmission studies. Um, the clip is shorter than normal for, for David's pens. Uh, this is done intentionally to, to kind of serve as the center point or the focal point for this explosion of electricity coming out from there. It's just a, a wonderful, wonderful effect. Uh, I'll do a little, little close-up of, of the enamel um, there. You'll notice is that the there's a transition between the mossy black to gray to white. Now that, that blending of colors is especially difficult to achieve in hot enamel. So kudos to, to David for being able to pull that off. It, it has just a, a lovely, lovely effect. Um, the backside of the, of the cap, you have a pigeon. Nikola Tesla was uh, known for his fondness of pigeon throughout his life. And he had a particularly strong bond with a white pigeon represented here in white enamel. Now, this is a little bit of an Easter egg in my opinion because it's kind of hard to see at least unless you're really looking for it. But if you look closely, um, and actually I think you can see a little better, uh, easier in the, in, the, in the purple. But if you look closely, uh, you'll see in low relief in the, me in the metal, uh, you, you'll see an x-ray image of Nikola Tesla's hand. Uh, Tesla did a number of experiments with uh, x-ray imagery, and so that's, that's one of his, his images that he did. I think it's a nice little effect. Now at this point, I'll go ahead and un unscrew the, the, the cap and uh, the top of the pen you see the equation for the Tesla. Uh, the Tesla is the magnetic flux density. Uh, this equation was or this unit of measure was was announced uh, in 1960 in honor of Nikola Tesla after his death. Uh, moving on to the barrel, the main barrel itself, uh, you have the uh, uh, symbol for alternating current there in black enamel. Uh, the main barrel you have in high relief, you have Nikola Tesla's signature right there. And then the lower portion, you have a diagram or a figure of uh, magnetic field lines right there, which is really nice. And the very bottom is another black, black enamel. Moving back to the grip section, uh, you see the details there. This is, uh, I believe, from, from his 1888 patent, uh, electric, electromagnetic motor. Um, if you look, again, you look closer, you can see this, the, the level of detail on the, on the engraving there, which is just wonderful. And it has the practical effect of, again, it had given just enough texture to, to, to have a little better grip um, for, for writing with. Kind of thing. Moving back to the enamel section, uh, you can kind of see the, uh, the galoche, this kind of coil effect um, engraving there. And uh, you also can probably, you can tell this, this kind of almost an ombre effect within the enamel. This fading of, of, of the colors is just just a wonderful effect. Now, one thing about David's pens is, is you really need to see them in person because, um, in my opinion, um, photographs and video just just can't capture the the way the light interacts with the pen. Um, the hot hot enamel, hard enamel, just just it's just spectacular in in, in light. And you can't, you can't see some of the variations as well without without really being able to see that um, in, in light. Uh, um, you can a little bit here more so maybe with maybe the, the, the purple. You can see that that blending of, of deep purple with lavender there. Um, but again, it's 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 so much better to see in person. Now, unfortunately, this happens to be a prototype uh, copy. And there were a couple differences between the prototype and the released version, and I'll, I'll point those out real quickly. Um, the first is this the center center um, alternating current symbol. In the released version, he did that in black enamel, opaque black enamel, where he had the, used the same enamel um, in the, the prototype. Now, I think this was a very good decision uh, by David because what it means is you have uh, a, this black enamel on the top. Now the middle and the bottom, and that really, I think, in my, my opinion, kind of bounds the uh, the pen a little bit better, the colors a little better, kind of thing. So I'm really pleased with that. The other uh, difference is that the um, the prototype had did not have the t equals, and so for completeness, David added the t equals for the equation um, there. Um, this is a limited edition, 
um, which means there's, a, there's a 86 copies of each color variation. Those can be in either rollerball or fountain pen. This, of course, is, is, a, is a fountain pen. Uh, I'll do a quick close-up of, of the nib itself. Uh, you can see it gets a very nice 18 karat gold gold nib with uh, David Oscarson symbol engraved there. Um, uh, David's pens are, are solid sterling silver, uh, so they're fairly weighty. Uh, this closed in, in the fountain pen version is about 91, 92 grams. Uh, so it's it's very you know very substantial weight, which which is something that I, I really appreciate. The buy shape itself is uh, you have a tapered cap. You can see here uh, with a, a straight a straight barrel. So, so there you go. A quick summary of uh, David Osterson's Nikola Tesla in pen form.